Hello there. Welcome back to Tool of the Day. Today I'm going to be talking about the tap and die. I'm covering both of these together because they're usually sold together in a set. A tap and die are used to cut threads in material that doesn't already have them. So if you needed to thread a post so that you could spin a nut onto it, you would use a die. If you needed to thread a hole so that you could spin a bolt into it, you would use a tap. Most tap and die sets are designed for threading metal. They look like this. You'll find different sizes for different thread patterns, so you can make your choice about which thread pattern to use. Other tap and die sets are made for threading wood, like this one. A tap is made out of very, very hard steel, so that it can cut its way through softer steel and other types of metals. But because it's so hard, it's actually very brittle. And if you're too rough with this tool, if you bend it at all, or if you try to continuously cut your threads all the way through in one forward motion, it's very easy to snap the tap because it's so hard and so brittle. Most sets include a little tap wrench like this one to help you drive that tap. And you'll also find a die wrench that you insert different size dies into and use for cutting threads on the exterior of a post. Notice that the tap will taper from a smaller diameter up to the full size of the threads. It doesn't just start off trying to cut the threads at their full size. It works its way up to full size after spinning around and around and around, gradually increasing the size of the thread until it reaches its full size. That way it can bite out smaller pieces of material with each pass instead of trying to do all of it at once. But that means that when the tap reaches the bottom of the hole, the portion where the tap hasn't reached full size yet isn't going to cut full size threads. So a good set will also include a bottoming tap like this one, which starts off at full size. So after running the normal tap through the hole, you can then go along with the bottoming tap and thread your way into the threads that have been cut already and finish cutting the threads at the bottom of the hole. When making a threaded hole, you need to figure out the correct size drill bit to use to drill the hole to start with. And it needs to be smaller than the diameter of the threaded fastener that's gonna be going in there. So if I'm putting a one quarter inch fastener into a hole, I can't just drill the hole one quarter of an inch, then the fastener would just drop through. I need to figure out the exact right size to drill that hole so that after I run the tap through it and cut the internal threads, the outer diameter of the threads will be one quarter of an inch and match my threaded fastener. Each tap has its corresponding correct size drill bit. For example, this wood cutting die is meant for specifically a one inch diameter dowel. And if I wanted to thread any other size dowel than that, I would need a different tap and die set. I can take a one inch diameter dowel and I can put my die right on top of it and I can start spinning. It's important that I keep the die straight while I'm doing this so that it doesn't get tilted off to one side or the other. And it's important that I only take small bites at a time. So that means I turn this forward about a quarter of a turn and then I back it up to let the wood chips come out. And then I'll turn it forward about a quarter of a turn again and then back it out. Slowly over time, I'm gonna cut all the way down this dowel to the point that I need my threads to go to. To make a matching threaded hole in a piece of wood that this dowel can thread into, I need to drill a hole to start with. And for a one inch diameter dowel, I can't use a one inch diameter hole. I need to go a little smaller than that. So for this particular tap, the size I need to start with is seven eighths of an inch. And then after I run the tap through it, it's going to cut out the threads, the remaining one eighth of an inch, a sixteenth on either side, and that should match perfectly with my threaded dowel. I cut threads with the tap the same way I cut threads with the die, a quarter of an inch forward at a time, and then back it out a little bit to let the wood chips come out. Cutting threads with a metal tap and die works very much the same way. I have to be a little bit more careful not to snap my tap, because this is the one that's going to be very brittle, but 
the process for drilling the hole and running the tap through the hole is pretty much the same as what I did with my wood cutting tap and die. I go forward about a quarter of a turn at a time and then back it off. Especially for harder metals, it's a good idea to use some kind of a lubricant. Cutting fluid works best, but other kinds of household lubricants will work well too. Hopefully you learned something new about how parts get threaded. Thanks for joining me on Tool of the Day. I'm Mr. D. I'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.